Hey there guys, look mom from Revere. Welcome to another tutorial within the Unreal series where I'll be teaching you some cool tips and tricks to smooth your workflow. Now in today's episode we're going to be continuing what we did last week, but this time we're going to be using Ansel to do the 360 image captures. Now for those of you who don't know, Ansel is a program set by Nvidia to help people capture super high resolution screenshots and 360 images within a game. Now this method is great because you do get 8K quality 360 images, but the only downside to this is that you would need an Nvidia graphics card in order to run it. So if you have one of those, then that's great. But if you don't, then just watch last week's video and see how you can do it without one. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so before we do anything in Unreal, we first have to do some setup outside the engine. We need to come to the NVIDIA configuration and set up Ansel to be used in the engine. Ansel is usually used for capturing screenshots in video games, such as The Witcher 3 or Star Wars Battlefront 2. So what you want to do is go to your C drive, Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation, Ansel, and then Tools. We want to open this file right here. It's called NV Camera Configuration. This will allow us to change the settings of the Ansel camera. Once you've opened it, we're going to change a few settings here. First, we want to set a path for the temp directory intermediate shots and the snapchat directory. Click and browse to a folder where you want your images to be saved. You can create a new folder or you can have it set up anywhere you want. I just created a new folder on my C drive. Once you've done that, you have to do the same for the snapshot directory. Okay, so after that, down here we want to take two options, super resolution and 360 image. Super resolution is to make sure that we can have the highest possible quality image and 360 image is to allow obviously 360 images to be captured. Also, turn resolution capture enhancement to 100%. Make sure that the NV camera is enabled so you can use the camera in game and then hit OK. Next, we have to open up command prompt and tell Unreal to allow Ansel to be used in the engine. I'm going to paste in this line. I'll leave it in the description so you can copy and paste it yourselves. Once you've pasted it, just hit enter and once that's done configuring, go ahead and close command prompt. Okay, that's all the setup we have to do outside the engine. So back in Unreal, we're now going to be using Ansel to capture our 360 images. Before we do anything, we have to go to our plugins under the quick settings tab, scroll down to photography, and just make sure that the Ansel plugin is enabled. By default, it should be, but if it's not, then make sure to enable it now. So once you've done that, we have to launch the game as a standalone. So next to play, click the drop down arrow and launch it as a standalone game. Here we are, the engine should launch it in a separate window. I'm just gonna move ahead into a better location for our 360 image. Okay, time to bring up the Ansel menu. Press Alt and F2. And as you can see, the menu on the left hand side has appeared. But unfortunately, the shader type did get changed to unlit because the hotkey for that is F2. So to change it back to lit, just press F3. And as you can see, it's now lit again. Now we just have to adjust some settings here. We want to change the capture type to 360 by sliding this little slider to the middle. It'll say 360 once you put it in the middle. Next, we want to put this resolution slider all the way to the right so we can get the highest possible resolution, which is 8192 by 4096. Now, this will give you a one gigabyte file size, but don't worry, we'll Photoshop it later to decrease the file size. You can also adjust the field of view if you'd like, but I'm gonna keep it at the original 90 degrees. So once you're happy with everything, go ahead and click snap, and it'll go ahead and capture a a picture from every possible angle. I'm going to fast forward this part. So once that's finished, we can view our final picture. Now we just have to get ready for uploading. Okay, in Photoshop, we want to check a few settings and then save the image out so it's less than one gigabyte. 
Under image at the top, go to mode and we want to make sure that the image is 8-bit, which it should be by default and that's fine because it is. But if it's not, then just to make sure, then just make sure to change it to 8-bit. Next, we want to save this image out. Go to file, save as, and then find a location to save it. We want to save it as a JPEG file, so click save and then you'll get some setting options. Now most websites require the image to be less than 10 MB, so if you have the image quality set to the highest, you can see that it's going to be 13.1 MB and that's too high. For the quality to 11 and the file size will decrease and it will be under 10 MB, which is what we want. So once the settings are configured, click OK and now let's go to roundme.com. Okay, here we are on Roundme's website. What you wanna do is click Create Tour, go to Browse, and then find the JPEG image that we saved. It'll take a few seconds just to create this depending on the file size, and because Ansel files are large in resolution, it might take a bit. So once that's done, we can now edit information about the tour, such as the cover photo. We can add a description, a location, and even choose a few different categories. And also add ca camera info, but since this was taken in game, you don't need to add camera info. Click close to view your tour, and as you can see, it's a full 360 dragon tour. Here you can do various other things such as add hotspots to create more 360 images like, the, like we discussed earlier. You can even change the image and capture snapshots. You can also upload different 360 images and add to different locations in your tour and you can adjust these accordingly. So that's pretty much it for the Ansel method. I will make a short video summarizing the difference between the two methods in, an, in a later video. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas on how we can improve this video or any other videos, please leave your feedback down below as it will be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want something specific covered in the future, please leave your suggestions down below and it could be a future video. Well, this is Lookman for Revere, thank you for watching.